I wrote three articles on the same topic using Bing AI, ChatGPT, and Claude 2. So let's compare the output quality to see which one of these AI writers are best for creating long form, in depth articles and blog posts. To do a fair comparison, we'll be comparing the ease of use, the length and format of the articles, the price, the quality of the output, the AI detection score, and we'll also be assessing the factual accuracy of the outputs that we get back from Bing. Cloud2 and ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned earlier, I used the same prompts and inputs in order to make this a fair comparison. So the prompts that I used are the typical prompts that I usually use, and I'll leave those in the description below if you want to check it out and use it for yourself. But first, what I did was I primed the AI to tell it that it's an expert blog post writer, and I asked it to generate an outline for the article topic, which is about how to become a lawyer in Canada. And this is the topic that we'll be writing about using all three of the AIs. So first, I generated the outline using ChatGPT. I am using the playground mode, and I used GPT-4 to generate the outline, and then I switched over to GPT-3.5. So here is the outline for how to become a lawyer in Canada that we got back from ChatGPT. And as you can see, it is pretty in-depth and it covers most of the important information for this blog post topic. Next up, I did the same input on Bing Chat, but Bing didn't really listen to my instructions. Instead of generating an outline, it went ahead and generated the full article. So as you can see here, I told it to generate an outline, but it just went ahead and generated the full um, output and the article was looking pretty good. So I just went ahead and continued with this article. And this is Claude, as you can see here, I ran the same input and here is the detailed outline that we got back from Claude. Again, we can see that this is pretty in depth and it covers the most important um, aspects that we need to for this specific blog post topic. So overall, we got some pretty good outlines from each one of these AI. And as I mentioned earlier, Bing just went ahead and wrote the full article. So once the outline was completed, then I went ahead and prompted the AI to generate the full article. And I told it to generate each section individually so that we can get a more in-depth article that we can really compare. So here's the full article that we got back from chat GPT. As we can see here, it is pretty long. How to become a lawyer in Canada, a comprehensive guide. This article is about, I believe, 4,000 words. And that is because I generated the article first using GPT-4, and that was about 2,000 words. And then I went ahead and extended the article. So just keep that in mind. This is an extended article. That's why the content is so long. But again, as you can see here, it's very, very in-depth. It talks about the top schools in Canada, the admission requirements for law school, the cost of law school, and essentially just talks about the topic of how to become a lawyer in Canada. So very, very in-depth article from ChatGPT. Here's the article that we got back from Claude. Again, as you can see, this is a pretty long article. I believe it is about... 2000 words so about 2100 words from claude and again it's well formatted it talks about the most important things that you need to keep in mind when becoming a lawyer and here's the third article that we got back from bing ai this article is also really really long this is about 3700 words so one of the longest articles out of these three and again as you can see it's well formatted and it has a lot of really useful information that um, a user would need to know if they would like to become a lawyer in canada so overall we were able to get three pretty in-depth and high quality um, pieces of content from bing ai claude 2 and ChatGPT. so now let's go ahead and score these ai writers based upon the criteria that we've determined and each one of these criteria is going to be out of five so five is going to be the highest and one is going to be the lowest or zero out of five is going to be the lowest so in terms of ease of use, I would have to give Bing a score of 4 out of 5, Claude a score of 5 out of 5, and ChatGPT a score of 4 out of 5. And that is because Bing is a little bit harder to use, and that's not really the fault of Bing. That's because Bing is built to be an AI chat box, which is supposed to be more conversational, not necessarily built to be a long form AI writer. So that's why sometimes you need to really direct Bing in the right direction when it comes to getting good outputs. And you need to have some experience with Bing um, to be able to get better output. So for that reason, I'll give it a four out of five. I also gave ChatGPT a four out of five. And that's because if we just go ahead and tell ChatGPT to create an article, sometimes it's very short and it's very generic. So that's why um, you need to, again, have some experience to get much better outputs. I've changed Claude to a 4.5 out of five. The AI is very, very easy to use, and usually it's very good at following instructions. But again, sometimes if you don't prime or prompt it in the right way, you do get um, shorter pieces of content. But overall, Claude is very, very easy to use, and you're able to get much better outputs, especially if you're a beginner and you don't have much experience using AI writers or AI tools in general.
In terms of length and format, I've given Bing a 4.5, Claude a 4.5, and ChatGPT a 4 out of 5. As we saw earlier, Bing had the longest article, and I didn't have to extend the article. It was just kind of one shot, and I was able to get a 3,000 word article. And if you take a look at the output quality, it's very well formatted, and it has a nice mix of paragraphs and lists. Claude also does a really good job at formatting articles really well. And if you tell it to write a specific length, usually it's able to follow those instructions. So that's why I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. On the other hand, ChatGPT isn't that great at following instructions when it comes to length of articles. And sometimes the articles can be um, a lot of chunks of paragraphs instead of having lists or charts, even when you prompt it in the right way. So for those reasons, I give ChatGPT a 4 out of 5. And I've given Bing and Claude to the highest ratings for length and format. For price, I've given all three of these AIs a 5 out of 5. And that's because they're all free to use. Yes, you can pay for Claude 2 or ChatGPT+. But for most use cases, you can create a very high quality article for completely free. So all three of these AIs are very, very affordable. The only drawback is that sometimes it's not available in other countries or features are slow to release in other countries. But overall, they're very, very affordable and most people can get access to very high quality AI writers. Now let's talk about quality. Of course, quality is going to be subjective. It's going to be based upon your own niche, the style of writing, and the information that you deem to be important within your blog post. But I'm going to be assessing quality based upon my experience of using all three of these AI writers. So for quality, I've given Bing a 4 out of 5, and I've also given ChatGPT a 4 out of 5. Bing is powered by GPT-4, so essentially you're going to get the same output quality from Bing compared to ChatGPT, but Bing is also able to connect to the internet, so that's why the quality of the content may be a little bit different or even better on Bing compared to ChatGPT, but because they're using the same model, I'll be giving them the same score, which will be a 4 out of 5. In my experience, Claude is really good in terms of output quality. Usually their content is less likely to be detected by AI, which means the quality is a little bit better because it sounds more human-like. And also, I find that Claude 2 is able to write on a variety of different topics. It usually doesn't write a lot of fluff. It kind of gets to the nitty-gritty, especially if you prompt it in the right way. So again, for those reasons, I'm going to give Claude a 4.5 out of 5 and the highest quality score out of Bing and ChatGPT. Now, let's compare the AI detection scores from all three of these AI writers. So here is the content scanned from ChatGPT. As we can see, the AI detection score is 0% original and 100% detected by AI, as I imagine it would be. In terms of plagiarism, this was a little bit surprising because usually I would get 100% plagiarized free content, but 4% of this content is plagiarized or deemed as being plagiarized by originality.ai. So that is surprising and a little bit disappointing from ChatGPT. In terms of readability, we have a readability score of 36.8, which isn't too bad. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the other content that we scanned. This is going to be the content in which we scanned from Claude. As you can see here, it is 16% original and 84% um, AI. So we have a little bit higher originality score from Claude, but again, it's still largely AI written or detected as being AI written. In terms of plagiarism, we have 0% plagiarized. And in terms of readability, we have a little bit of a higher readability score, which is 45.5. Usually, if you prompt the AI in the right way, you're able to get a much higher original score. But again, we use the same prompts for all three of these articles to make it fair. And this is the original and the AI score that we got back for Claude AI. And here's the content score that we got back from the Bing AI article. Again, as we can see here, it is 0% original and 100% AI, 0% plagiarized, which is really good. And the readability score is 50.5, which is higher than what we got back from ChatGPT. So overall, this is um, a much better results from Bing AI compared to ChatGPT, even though they're both using GPT-4. So that's interesting to note. So in terms of AI detection, I'm going to give Bing and ChatGPT 3.5 out of 5, and Claude, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. So now let's talk about references or factually correct information from each one of these um, AI writers. So right off the bat, I'm going to be biased towards Bing because Bing is connected to the internet. When you generate content with Bing, it goes ahead and searches the internet and takes that information and combines it with information from GPT-4. So that means it's not limited to information up to 2021. It's able to add more up-to-date information. And if we take a look at the article that we go back from Claude AI, they include the sources and the references of websites that they've mentioned within that article. And that's without you even having to prompt the AI. 
So you're able to see exactly where the information was cited from a reference when using um, Bing AI, and that is because it uses the live internet. Now you can also get your references and your citations from Claude and ChatGPT. If you just go ahead and prompt it and tell it to include your resources, then you will also be able to get a list of websites that were used to get that information from Claude and from ChatGPT. But again, the biggest limitation is going to be the training data because ChatGPT is only trained up to 2021. There are some cases that it seems to be trained up to 2022, but also Claude has a limitation in terms of the information that is trained up to. Bing has the biggest advantage because it's connected to the internet, so it's able to use the information from ChatGPT, but also it's able to use more live and updated information from the internet. So for those reasons, I'm going to give Bing a score of five out of five. Claude, I'm going to give it a score of 4 out of 5, and ChatGPT, I'm going to give it a score of 4.5 out of 5, and that is because you can use ChatGPT plugins like WebPilot or Browse with Bing to be able to connect ChatGPT with the internet. So that allows you to also be able to get more live and updated information. Currently, there really isn't any plugin or app that you can use with Claude to be able to get more live and up-to-date information. So overall, I would give Bing a score of 26 out of 30, Claude to a score of 27 out of 30, and ChatGPT a score of 25 out of 30. So based upon my ratings, Claude 2 is the best AI writer. And as I've been using Claude a lot more, I've really been liking it. You are able to get some really, really good outputs. But again, that doesn't mean that Claude 2 may be the best um, AI writer for you. It really depends on the topic that you're writing about. And it also depends on things that you need. Maybe you need more factual, um, correct information. So you may need to use Bing, or maybe you need to um, include graphs and tables that you may need to use ChatGPT because ChatGPT has a lot of different plugins that you can use within um, ChatGPT to help you get much better content. So it really depends on your use case and the type of content in which you're creating. But currently, this is my overall rating for the best long form AI content writer. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new. Let me know in the comments below out of these three, which one of them you like the best and which one of them you use on a daily basis. If you enjoyed today's video, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.